Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the 360 Daily Show where we bring you the latest news in fashion and lifestyle. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka, and these are the headlines. David O misses out on Grammy Award despite three nominations. Angela Rippon as seen in Manchester. The beekeeper overtakes Akindele's A Tribe Called Judah in the box office and Ellie Goulding's incredible look. And on our trending segment, David O misses out on Grammy Award despite three nominations. Afrobeat singer David Adeleke, popularly known as David O, continues his search for his first Grammy Award after losing out on all three nominations as the 66th Grammy Awards. David O was nominated in three categories, Best Global Music Performance, Best Global Music Album and Best African Music Performance, but lost all three on Sunday night. The music superstar went for a clean look, sticking with the black tie dress code. In the same vein, none of the four other Nigerians are nominated, Bono Boy, Olamide, Arya Star and Ashake nicked an award during this ceremony. Monochrome was the order of the day with Fireboy, DML and Asha Care in all black ensemble. Then there was Arya Star serving skin in a baby blue two-piece ensemble decorated with silver gemstones. Meanwhile, South Africa's Tyler went home with her first Grammy Award as she won the Best Global Music Performance category at the Grammys. And on our spotted segment, Angela Rippon as seen in Manchester. Angela Rippon was seen for the first time since her health scare as she arrived back at a hotel in Manchester. In an Instagram post, the 79-year-old veteran broadcaster said she had been dancing on stage in Liverpool when she suffered a serious asthma attack. After receiving treatment from paramedics on site, Angela explained she could breathe again but was prescribed two days of bed rest by the doctor, causing her to miss shows in Leeds. Angela was seen along with her Strictly Calm Dancing co-stars after returning to the stage at Manchester Arena. The veteran broadcaster caught a casual figure in black trousers and a grey coat which boasted a Fox 4 trim as she stepped off the coach after a long day. She was joined by Fast Finder star Bobby Brazier, 20, who stopped to chat to fans in a baby blue tracksuit. It was the first time Angela has been seen after she was forced to pull out of Strictly Calm Dancing tour show. Mm, so Dangerously Talented was inspired by my creativity and uh, breakup at the time. So um, I just wanted to express how versatile I could be at the time still, you know. But yeah, that was the whole inspiration behind it. Well, you know, music is an expression. And for me, it's, uh, it could be how I feel at this moment I, it could be it could be my feeling so um, that's how I, I am able to express this emotions through sounds and all of that so this is how I express these things my feeling my um, 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 mood how I feel at that moment you know so it's basically experience so yeah <laughs> And on our editorial segment, the beekeeper overtakes Akindele's A Tribe Called Judah in the box office. The comedy drama, which was released on December 16, 2023, held the number one spot on Nigeria's box office chart for seven weeks. But its reign has come to an end as the Hollywood action thriller The Beekeeper claims its spot with a seven-day gross of 48,966,985 naira, making the most-watched cinematic movie in Nigeria for the week beginning 26 January to 1st February 2024. In third place is the newly released Nollywood movie Meeting Fumi's Parents, written and directed by Kevin Appa with 14 million 882,863 Naira. Malaika and Ada Omodadi have also dropped on the chart as they face over 60% decline in gross income. The former by Tony Abraham is the sixth spot with a seven-day gross of 6.5 million Naira and the latter by Messi Aibe follows closely with 3.8 million Naira.